Welcome to Electron Line, and in this example, we're going to show you that distribution functions, or what we call probability distributions, don't need to be symmetrical. They can be what we call skewed, which means that the point where the greatest number of occurrences are doesn't have to be right in the center. We don't have to have a nice, even distribution. It can be uh, very different. This is an example where, where we have, let's say, a manager who, who uh, works in a store and he wants to know how many people typically stand in line waiting to pay at the register. So we have one person paying and is there somebody standing in line waiting to pay. And so he wants to make sure that that's acceptable, that there are not too many people waiting. So he's going to do an experiment. He's going to go out to the store in the register, at the, at the register, and look and see how many people are standing in line. He's going to do that 100 times, different times of the day, different days of the week, and so forth. And after he's done it 100 times, and of course each time he wrote down how many people were standing in line, he noticed out of 100 times uh, there was nobody standing in line, four times. There was one person standing in line 14 times, there were two people standing in line 25 times, three people 20 times, four people 13 times, five people 10 times, six people eight times, seven people four times, and eight people two times, and never were there any more than eight people standing in line. So that was his experiment. And so here we have a histogram that shows the number of occurrences, the number of times it happened that there was this many people standing in line. If you then turn that into what we call a probability distribution, uh, graph, then it looks like this. Again, the shape looks exactly the same, but notice everything has not been normalized such that when we add up all the totals, it will add up to exactly one. So this would be 0 0.04, this would be here 0 0.14, 0 0.25, 0 0.2, this would be 0 0.13, 0 0.1, 0 0.08, 0.04 and 0.02. If you add all those up, you get 1. So again, the difference between a graph that shows the number of occurrences versus the, all the possible outcomes uh, is, looks exactly the same in shape as a what we call probability density graph or probability distribution graph. And the only difference is that the totals add up to one for probabilities and the total here adds up to the total number of experiments that we conducted to make this possible. Um, just to show you though that this is what we call a skewed graph where the center is pushed either to one side or to the other side. So the likelihood of one, two, or three people being in line is much greater than the likelihood of more than three people standing in line and that's what we can get out of looking at a graph like this and that's how we do that.